Good morning. Let's go trash picking. Uh-oh. Who woke the dogs up? Hi, Rufus. He's like, good morning. That's a big dog. I'll take it. Now this is one of those big tent things, right? What? Who left the scrap out? Who? 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 That's some good stuff right there. If I can get it. I had to switch out my gloves because the other ones were wet. Got some scrap of pallet man colors going. I see a microwave. Kind of greasy one too. I don't want the plate. Oh, it's not a plate. It's a piece of plastic. Where's it gonna go? Right here? Yep, I think so. to tie a couple of these things up and then a little stair stepper yeah it's gonna work out just fine it's absolutely beautiful and quiet my gloves are drying over there a lot a bit of metal I like it. Let's put it in here for now. Get rolling. I hear the garbage man coming. Wow, that is cool. I want to keep that for some reason. That is just beyond cool. Garbage man! What's up? Hey, some future tanglements. That's always fun. No, it's not. I'm feeling a bit sarcastic before my coffee sets in. I don't know if you guys get like that. It's for a bench, huh? Check this out. Do you think that's magnetic? Hmm? That's copper. Just kidding, it's not copper. Oh, you got jokes, Paul. <laughs> A dirt devil, huh? Right. This part is not going to the landfill. That garbage man is in the next neighborhood over. I see a little bit of metal. Don't block their driveway, Paul. I'm not blocking it, I'm in it. <laughs> this is the coolest house and I have a, I'm glad that I have an excuse to stop because I see a pipe in the trash. Totally railroad everything. Huh. It's not a pipe, it's a broom. Is it gonna suck an unscrew? Huh. 
thought it was a pipe. Well, I guess it is a pipe to some degree. Man, looks like these were a lot of fun to some kids. Big time. Are the batteries still in them? Yeah, I'm not fooling with it. This bicycle got wore out. That's some good riding right there. It's a Jeep bicycle. Never seen one of those. That's interesting. coax so some people were asking if coax is copper majority is not it looks like it's copper but it's magnetic so Char grill. I do, I do. Ta da! Mr. Scrappity has not been here. Okay. Concrete lip. All right, I need to do some rearranging here. All right, repacking is done. Just kind of scooch it up. This awkward thing. This I rolled up on. Let's do a walk around first. There's a lot of stuff here. Volleyball. That's pump upable. Christmas lights, if I don't forget. So many times I'm like walking through a pile like this and you guys will see something that I don't actually see. Is that really full of gas? It is, there's gas in that. <clears throat> DVDs, and they're there. Life of the Party, Melissa McCarthy. Bunch of DVDs. Couple things of scrap. Yeah. The stuff that I'm gonna grab. Man, that's straight out of the. That's still full gallon of orange juice and milk. So I guess this is a tenant being evicted. That's what it seems like. Let's do a quick look through here. I hate seeing kids stuff getting tossed. I do. Very bothersome. 
that's definitely scrap. A shredder. It's a yearbook. This is not okay. Oh. You know what? Just in case they come back. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. Those that's people, you know. Oh, let's hope it had the combo on the back. Someone's already been here. Digging through this stuff. Yep, that is evidence. What is this? Is this a table of some sort? It is. I'm going to take it. I'm going to spend too much more time here. Metal. Now the DVDs. Star Wars. I don't know. They're all here. I can hear them all. massager <laughs> that's worth a thousand dollars Paul that's an easy two thousand dollars for me stuff is a difficult ten dollars when it comes to resale wow that thing's heavy is it scrap oh, mainly plastic right, one more time here Oh, just kids stuff. What is that thing? A Wii? We'll grab it. Some gasoline. Definitely a problem. Is that a dog cage? Yep. Tanglematic. Five thousand. How about if I just pull the plastic piece out and leave the rest tangled up? A 
let it go. I hope so. It's more like a grill. Hey, it could be the sides for your truck, Paul. It'd fit really well, wouldn't it? But it would keep me be from being able to do this. So, yeah. Definitely going to keep it to have access to the sides of the truck. Indubitably. There we go. We's good. Yes, sir. I got some scrap for you. Okay. I got a big old air conditioner. I would love it. It's it's. And, and I got some uh, let me give you my card here and I got a barrel on the side of my house and all you can have all that metal right is it all outside right now yeah but it's not that, I'm right down the street okay Appreciate you, man, a lot. Yeah. I'll call you every time I get some stuff. Right on, man. However I can help, let me know. What do you usually scrap on Fridays or every day? Uh, usually, every, well, every day it's a garbage day here or DeKalb. If I have something, I'll call you and tell you stuff. Right. Appreciate right. you. All right, thanks. Thank you. Not so bad. So the scrapyard has been open for three minutes now. So it's 8.03 a.m. Yeah. This is a workout. I say in the comment section a lot that this is like a gym membership that pays me. All right. So got that stuff all packed in here. Oh. Yeah, this barrel is rusted out in the bottom. Or I would keep it for, um, for a burn barrel. Mostly. Yep. I can recycle that. What is this? A jewelry case? If there's any jewelry in there? Nope. Right now, now I'm interested. that will take up a lot of room and I would choose not to grab them. Especially right now. But those blinds would sell. I was a reseller. I see a little bit of scrap. I do, I do, I do. I see the box for the new one as well. Now, let's get this cord and put her right there because I want to save this room for later. Uh-oh, there's a puppy. He's like, there's a scrap guy out there. I like this. 
I think I want to keep it. <laughs> Morning. I don't know if I want to get rid of that. I think I see some metal. Yeah, definitely. Wait a minute. Do they have a garage clean out? Where are you going? The other vertical metals? I think so. Hey, it's getting caught up. Okay, good stuff. I still like this thing. You might be a new addition to my house. I see a lamp. Ah, I'm taking it. That's a nice lampshade, actually. I like it. Oh, more scrap? Why, yes. I had to scoot up, that lady's backing out. It's already here. It wasn't the garbage man. I'm getting all kinds of stuff today. And it's still bright and early. That metal? Nope, that's plastic. Recyclable? Probably not. I think that all plastic is recyclable. We'll just melt it down, make something new. <laughs> Guess it doesn't work like that. Garbage can. I don't think so. Pally wow. Ooh. Come here, mate. Come out with your scrap up. <laughs> Driver. This might be the new item for my bathroom. I guess glass goes on these shelves. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the ends are coming off. Where are you going? What would Scrap Kingdom do? I know what he would do. I've got a question, and only the long-time viewers would know the answer. What is the name of my spider? Yeah, definitely getting quite a load going. Plenty of room. Could break that down, but... I feel a sneeze coming on. I hope not. Hmm. Can you go here? 
That'll work. Sometimes feels like my caffeine has not kicked in. Yeah, it's about time for some scrapper coffee. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Where's she gonna go? might get interesting. <laughs> all the webs all over it. What was this? It's a battery powered something or another. Trimmer. Edger. Walt, I like that. All right, did a little bit of rearranging. Can one more fit like right in here? together. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. What's gonna happen here? Just go into the barrel? <laughs> yeah. That'll work. It is. It doesn't catch all the time. Someone could repair it or it could get recycled. But it's definitely not going into the landfill now. Where's it gonna go? must be praying for me or something. So I'm getting all kinds of scrap. Is that mostly metal? Yeah. Bed frames. <laughs> Where are these guys gonna go? Hmm. Do one at a time. Hey, what's going on 
down here. Definitely taking you. Man, my truck's getting packed. That is Elmwood Cemetery. It's huge. Humongoid. Same spot, maybe. Yeah, that works. Sometimes when I'm scrapping, parking is not so convenient. Just say it. I see four wheels, two bicycles, <laughs> something like that. Oh, really? This box is going to totally fall apart. Mm. Oh. You are garbage. You guys are getting recycled. Hmm. Guess I'll do the Florida scrapper trick. Getting ridiculous, Paul. Just saying. Time for a bigger rope. What is this? Can go right inside of here. Good enough. Now you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of this bungee. Boing! Oh, did he go shooting? <laughs> For right now, because I'm going to tie everything down. But where's this? Oh, that was the wrong one. It did go shooting. Where's it going to go? Just like lay flat that way? You know, with the concave part towards the scrap? Probably. Tie it down. Just got rid of the bungees. Used rope. No, no, no. Don't do that, Paul. You'll get a copyright strike. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, the other day I was thinking about it. You know, I like to be able to catch that guy. He runs around picking up the scrap metal. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, good. Yeah, I've got this right. I've got an old corner <gasps> jack. i got some brake rotors. I would love it. Control arm. What's that? Thank you. Give you a couple hundred pounds or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Thank you. Garbage man, get close. Awesome stuff, man. They won't be dry to pick this up for another hour or so. Yeah, he's. It, He's oh yo know, when they do their route it's always on the right. Yeah. So I'm lucky I can go on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> Fit. Yes. Oh, okay. Is the jack bad? Yeah. Okay. This might be the heaviest load I've had in this truck. I don't know if you got room for this. I'll make room. I'll help <laughs> it's close. I'll help you look this Day, you? Oh yeah, and I started out with an empty truck this morning. I've seen you go by here several times. I've never seen you have this much stuff. Yeah, and normally I don't. Well, I got this new rack up here, oh, okay. which just changed. It's a game changer. started to squat this truck really does that I think this is the biggest load I've ever had yeah definitely think so all right I'm really glad the scrapyard is about five minutes away <laughs> now th my record ever in this truck was 4,600 pounds because normally it's a 3,800 pound truck with me in it and some gas, whatever. All right, what do you think? Am I gonna break the 4,600 record? I think we are. What? 5,020 pounds? Are you kidding me? Ah. We hey. That's how we do it. Man, look at all this scrap. All right, I'm going back in there.
gym membership that pays me most excellent. What's the guess? 39.60? Are you kidding me? Over half a ton. Now that I am weighed with my shredder scrap, I'm gonna reverse over to the small scale and sell my rotors. Four pounds of rotors. I don't know what the rotor price is. Five cents a pound? Six cents a pound? I don't know. We'll find out. Let's go park and get some scrapper coffee. Looks like they got some issues with the flag. It's stuck up there. Motorcycle season. Let's get some coffee first off. Got my YouTube going. Oh no, it's good. It's good. You can All say right, hello if you want. Guys. Say what's up. How you doing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> so, forty-eight dollars and ninety-six cents. Twenty, forty, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven. Forty-eight dollars and ninety-six cents. That is crazy. So. Four cents a pound, 1,080 pounds of scrap steel. I got $43.20 and 64 pounds of auto cast, the rotors, for nine cents a pound. That's amazing. So an additional $5.76 for a total of $48.96. God, you are amazing. Thank you for this day. Thank you for just allowing me to find all the scrap. <laughs> it was amazing. And then having me meet people and talk to them. You are in the relationship business, God, but also you are in the business of helping us individually, one-on-one, -on -one, God. God, help us just talk to you. In the name of Jesus, amen. So I'm getting ready to go into 7-Eleven, get me a beverage, and we get a big old water. Yeah. It's funny, I actually like tap water for my house better than bottled water. Maybe it's just because I'm used to it, you know, that the flavor of tap water. But uh, yeah, so I got a bunch of DVDs and whatever that little wee thing is. I don't know, what what is that thing? I don't know. I got a table and that volleyball, beach volleyball. <laughs> this thing for, it's going to be in my bathroom. Yeah, I like it. So one thing I didn't say earlier is that in between me dropping off the scrap and then talking about the prices, I was talking with the owners for about 30 minutes. Um, just about the changes that are happening with, uh, with B&O Scrapyard. And I'm talking some amazing stuff that they have planned. And it's so customer oriented. It's so oriented towards the vendor of the scrapper. Because that's really what they are. And from a business hierarchy, um, that scrappers are actually vendors. So the scrapyard is more like a customer of mine because I'm selling my product to my customer. Anyway, the vendee vendor relationship is a little bit, it's hard for me to wrap my brain around it fully. But uh, so talking with them about the changes that they're making and, and they're, they're gonna have a new scale, a new full length scale, it's gonna be on the other side. We're gonna have the scrap where you can pull up and unload right there in the parking lot basically. Um, and the scrap is going to be hauled off into the the junkyard itself and customers won't even have to, to deal with driving into the yard. A whole bunch of, of really cool stuff, some things that, uh, that I'm not to talk about. I just thought it was really cool getting the inside um, 
workings. Just seeing, you know, under the hood kind of stuff at a scrapyard. So, anyway, hopefully you guys have a good day. Thanks for hanging out with me on this whole journey. This whole, yeah, it's just amazing. I'm just thanking God all the time of how I'm able to run around and just have fun. You're coming along with me. We're having fun. This is just, it's a special time, you know. So thanks for hanging out. Be awesome, stay awesome, do your thing, just be yourself.